Hello singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm going to be doing another reaction to Baby Metal. This is a request from my viewer, Louis Ariza. This is a song called I'm totally going to butcher this. <laughs> Tsubasa Wo Kudasai, live at Legend D concert. And Lewis wrote in his email, at this time, Sue had graduated, I guess, from the previous umbrella group that you can only be up to 15 years old in, and no one knew what was going to happen to the group. This is a very emotional song from the anime series Evangelion 2.0, which is based on a traditional Japanese song. Yui and Moa cry, and Sue leaves the mic on the floor and walks off the way an athlete does at the end of their career. After the show, it was announced that Baby Metal would spin off from their school and become a group of their own, okay? And then he also wrote in a subsequent email, the girls see themselves as characters, Sue Metal and Moa Metal. When they are not performing, they are pretty normal. And then he also sent me a video called Moa and Yui Growing Up Tribute, which I watched, which was incredibly cute. So I will link that below in case any of you want to check that out. And of course, we know that Yui has left the group due to undisclosed health reasons. So hopefully she is doing well. We wish her all the best, obviously. And he wrote that the Growing Up tribute video helps to explain how they are so in sync on stage since they grew up spending so much time together. All right, so this promises to be quite an emotional performance. I'm excited to watch it. Let's check it out, shall we? Of course, I will be pausing this video a few times so it doesn't get blocked, but I will put the uninterrupted video in the description box below so that you can watch it there. All right, here we go. pause it. I just don't want to get flagged. So my heart is exploding. This is too cute. Oh my God. <laughs> They're so little and cute. Oh my God. This is really, really adorable. Okay. So <laughs> beyond the like huge cuteness factor, I like the giant crucifix. It's a little, <laughs> a little striking, but I really, really like the high connected head voice that she's utilizing. So of course she starts out with that incredibly strong belt that we have all grown to know and love, that great connected, powerful chest voice. And then when she flips into her head voice, it's not this breathy, soft da, 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 right? It's actually very, very connected and focused. Da, 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 da. Very, very good technique for a young girl to be able to flip from one register to another so seamlessly and really have that power in her upper voice. I've explained this in other videos, but 
We tend to have stronger, lower voices because that's our natural speaking range. And 90% of the time that we're using our voices as humans, we are speaking. So we're very practiced using our strong, connected, powerful chest voice. But using our high voice is not always as practiced and can be very difficult for singers, especially when they're starting out. Obviously, she's been doing this for a very long time, but <laughs> it's a mark of a, a very well-trained singer to have such a nice, connected, high head voice. Beautiful job. Okay, so there's something that's much sweeter and more innocent and a little bit less professional and polished than the huge arena rock spectacles that I've watched previously from later years. Clearly, this is from 2012, so they're very, very young here. This is before Baby Metal split off as its own entity, and so this feels a little bit more childish but there's something that's very very endearing and cute about that as well Okay, that was a little bit dramatic. <laughs> I was not expecting her to be crucified on that giant crucifix and then engulfed in flames. I could see how that might be a little off offensive to some Christians. I'm not Christian, so, you know, it's not as personal, the iconography to me. But it is kind of funny just how, like, um, how dramatic and over the top it is. And it's funny that they went from Legend D to Legend Z. It's like... I think you skipped a few letters in between there, but I thought the performance was great. Really, really, really cool. And I love just how cute they are. I mean, it's really adorable. One thing that I will say is that I always get a little bit nervous when I see groups that have such young children in them. Obviously, you know, whenever young kids are involved in the entertainment industry, there is the opportunity for exploitation. And we've all heard enough horror stories to know that it does happen, especially when you're around like rock musicians and tour buses and groupies and alcohol and all that kind of stuff. And they do tour with much older people. But as far as I've seen, everyone has been very respectful towards them and protective of them. And I hope that that is the case. I really hope that they have good handlers and people around them but um, from what I've seen, it seems like it is, but I just always get a little bit nervous, especially when they're so little and like vulnerable and cute. You can understand that there would be a danger of predators trying to exploit them. So hopefully that never happens and they're, they're kept very safe. They are certainly very talented and they seem very sweet as well from what I've seen. So I enjoyed that very much. Hopefully you enjoyed my reaction. Lewis, thank you for recommending it. And I will see you guys here next time. If it's a Monday, I'll see you Wednesday. If it's a Wednesday, I'll see you Monday. Until then, take care. And of course, happy singing.